Well, good evening, everybody. Again, it's good to be out here. I hope everybody had a good, blessed day. Um, I'm looking at a scripture in the book of Luke. Uh, Luke chapter 11. And I'm looking at one verse. And for some reason, I just can't get it off my mind. And it's very simple to read and simple to understand, but how to apply it, I really just don't know yet. Um, I pray that the Lord will give me something that will make sense in this verse. I'm looking at verse 17, and some of this is where Jesus begins to talk. And I didn't go and investigate a lot because the application that I'm using this in is today. I'm looking at these words of the truth of Jesus' words for today. In the 17th verse, he says this, But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Now, I'm not referring to anything above, and I'm not referring to anything below. I'm referring to the red letters of verse 17. Every kingdom divided against itself, is brought to desolation. And a house divided against a house falleth. Today we live in a world where there's trouble on every side. Uh, this nation was founded on godly principles. And over the 200 plus years that this nation has been a nation that has openly printed on their money in God we trust, uh, you have to wonder. I just recently heard a message, uh, tonight. Uh, I had already done read this verse, and then I listened to a message, and it was almost shocking to the things that I heard. And I don't disagree with the pastor that spoke the words. I think he was dead on the money of the things that he was saying. But this verse here says, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Now, I'm no history major. I am no college-educated person. But if you go back and study history over a period of time, you will see where nations was formed and nations fell over a period of two or 300 years, or maybe even a little bit more, nations was established, and nations fell. And I don't think it's really surprising today when I read this verse, every kingdom, well, somebody might go and say, well, Ken, we live in a country. We don't live in a kingdom. No, I, I think that the United States, for the most part, is a kingdom of 50 states and a few territories and a few places that the, that the United States protects as their sovereign leadership over. And see... I'm not no history major, so I don't really know how many countries has been formed and how many of them has dissolved. 
But this verse here says every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Back a hundred years ago or longer, 150 years ago, this country was divided in during the Civil War. But it was due to problems during the time 150 years ago or longer. Um, there was things that was going on that the country didn't agree with. But as soon as the Civil War was over, the country, for the most part, went back together again as one country. Now, it still had issues. It still had problems. It still had slavery. It still had the civil rights issue. It still had a racial issue. Maybe it still had the common things of the rich people versus the poor people, the people that had uh, lots of property and lots of land and lots of possessions, to people that didn't have hardly nothing. And see, what I'm getting at is back in all them years ago, the country came back together as a unified country. And now, it seems like, without trying to get political, but, you know, it's hard. I'll be just be honest with you. It's difficult to not raise the political head of some of the stuff that is going on. Uh, let me say this. Any political party that is for the murdering of babies, that party ought to be ashamed of themselves. If the shoe fits, wear it. They ought to be ashamed of themselves for going down that road to allow an innocent little baby to be aborted at the end of its life and at the beginning of life. Like, life just doesn't matter. It's just garbage, so to speak. And you know what? I think it offends God when a country that has on its money in God we trust, and yet we decide and we choose that it's all right to murder little children. And I'm telling you now, I think that is a dishonor to God, and I believe America is going to give an account to God for it. I'm not trying to make this political. I'm saying that if there's someone that is going to protect life of the innocent children, then I'm going to be on the side of life that protects innocent children. I mean, that's just a no-brainer to me. And how anybody could support another side that is openly for the butcher and the murder of little innocent babies, I just, I don't know where we got off the track at because this verse right here, this sentence that I'm reading, I'm not applying this to the Bible before verse 17, and I'm not applying it to the Bible in verse 18 down. I'm only using the words of the sentence. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. We're seeing trouble on every side. We're seeing heyday that is going on right now. We are seeing riots going on right now. We are seeing things that are going on that we would have never dreamed of seeing in our lifetime. But yet, because 
of the things that is happening, things get worse and worse. And the point that I'm making is that over the years, back 150 years ago, nations that formed, that ruled each other well, or that ruled their country well, when they messed up, they dissolved as a country. Now, I can't sit here and name a country that was dissolved. I, I can't think of any particular country that is dissolved. I will leave that to the person that is listening, that you think of a country that was once here that is no longer around today. That country is not a country anymore. Because that kingdom was divided against itself. And I'm thinking, you know, that is that where America is today? You know, as far as I know, America is not even in the picture to protect Israel in the event that Israel was to go to war America is not even listed in the scripture far as being a superpower or anything. Do I want anything to happen to my country? No, I don't. I think America is one of the greatest countries in all of the world. America has fought wars for other nations has went to bat for other nations. We got into wars and we helped rebuild the nations that we went to war with. I can think of one right now. Japan was bombed by two atomic bombs, but yet we invested American money back into the country of Japan to help rebuild their nation that they have today. And it's only because of our generosity as a nation. But today, our kingdom, as we know the United States, is about as divided as it's ever been. I don't think that it has ever been this divided. I mean, I'm talking about a knife. I'm talking about, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a division like this piece of paper. I honestly think that this is how divided our nation is right now. That's how our nation is divided right now. There is such a split in our nation right now, that we are like kids in a sandbox. I hate to say it. I don't condone not near a bit of any wrongdoing on either the Republican or the Democratic side. And I don't mean to make this political at all. I'm calling it as I see it. This nation is divided, and according to the words that Jesus said here, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, meaning it is dissolved. You know what that means? It means that there's no more nation. The nation is dissolved. I don't know if God is going to have mercy on the United States, honestly, with the blood that is on top of this nation that has killed these innocent babies. I don't know how long the Lord is going to allow this division to stay divided without just going ahead and ripping apart. I think that's where we are. We are at that point of where we are almost at the point of being ripped literally to part. And if it does, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. It's going to dissolve. 
Do I want it to dissolve? No. Do I want God to have mercy? Absolutely. But you know what? God sees all the stuff that's going on. All the garbage that is going on. And he sees every bit of it. And I think that he has literally got an upset stomach over everything that he is seeing all this time that we can't even get a judge without there being politics. Eat up with politics. Whether you like the woman or whether you don't, if the shoe was on the other foot, there wouldn't be no question that the other side would act on putting in a Supreme Court justice if the shoe was on the other foot. But yet, it seems like the sanity that we've got in this country today is slim to none. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And listen, and... A house divided against a house falleth. Jesus was making it so clear that a house against a house is going to fall. And I'm out here talking about this one verse right here. Does, is, is Jesus the God of mercy is he the God of grace? Yes, he is. I'll think about the verse that's over in Second Chronicles, I believe it is, where it says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, what, what will God do that he will heal the nation? He will heal, he will heal the separation, but you know what? We are so divided right now. And you know what? I believe the Lord is seeing every bit of it. He's allowing every bit of it to go on in order for America to be just like this piece of paper I had a minute ago. It is almost at that point right there. America is almost at this point right here, and it ain't going to take much. But is God able to mend? I believe he's going to have to move people out of the way. I believe he's going to have to move troublemakers out of the way. I believe he's going to have to get to the core of the issue of the problem. And you know, the only healing, the only healing is the Lord Jesus. Only the Lord Jesus is going to be able to heal. Only the Lord Jesus is going to be able to put back the rip. But you know what? I'll be honest with you. I think America has seen its better days. I don't see things getting better? Does that mean I'm a pessimist that I don't see that things are going to get better? No, because I think there's too much fighting far as po politics is concerned. There's too much fighting going on. And it really is somewhat sad. Jesus wants to save. But you know what? It's not about saving a nation. Jesus is about saving the soul. He cares more about the soul than anything else. He knows that a house, a kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. That shouldn't really stop our thinking. It shouldn't make us question if that's true or not. Something divided against itself cannot stand. Only the Lord can glue the nation back together. And it takes salvation to do that. ElderlyMinistry.com is the website.
Go there and take a look. If I can do anything, let me know. I'm glad to help if I can.